fireflies are out, so I thought I'd come and see if I could show you guys some. They're fun, in case you've never seen them or just because you want to see them because they're fun at summertime. They tend to hang out right above the grass or in the grass. There they are. It's funny, I was out here a few minutes ago taking a video. I could see them really well, but they weren't showing up very much on my camera. So I thought, oh, I'll come back out when it's darker so they can show up better. And then, um, <laughs> whoa, that was a bright one. The Lord was just reminding me that's like us as believers right now in this world. Um, you know, we're called to be light in this dark world and the world has been dark since the fall of man but as we can see in these last days it's getting darker every day it seems even by like the hour and the minute the darkness is just getting darker and thicker heavier um, but just like these fireflies when I came out they showed up better in the dark and that's the exciting part if you're a believer during these dark times then this is our time to shine and, you know, each of us are going to shine differently, but the important thing is not that what you do looks like what I do or what I do looks like what you do, but the important part is that we take our orders from the Lord. Lord, how do you want me to shine today? Every single day he has missions for us, big ones, little ones. So just make it a habit to ask him, Lord, what do you want me to do today? Don't say, Lord, here's what I'm doing. Can you bless it? I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's okay to pray that and ask him that, but... You know, if he's the Lord of your life, he should be directing your steps. Um, we should be taking marching orders from him, even just in asking him what to do today. You know, he'll send you places that you weren't planning on going. Maybe you're planning on going to a store, he'll send you to a different store. Maybe you weren't planning on going out to eat, and he'll tell you to go out to eat. I've had that happen before, and, you know, um, just... These things might sound strange if you haven't experienced the Lord like this, but he does these things, and he has missions every day, and lighting up the darkness guys the, the darkness is closing in and that's when people are really gonna a lot of people are really still not gonna want to hear what we have to say but there are a lot of people out there who do and they need the light so be the light wherever you go just leave little little deposits of God's light everywhere that you go that's not that's not my saying my friend and prayer partner told me that, leaving little deposits of God's glory everywhere you go. And ask the Lord, Lord, open the door for me and show me how to leave deposits of your glory here for every place that you go. It's not always going to be preaching a sermon, you know. Sometimes it's just going to be some encouraging words. Sometimes it's going to be encouraging words straight from his word. Truths straight from his word. When people are asking about the crazy things going on in the world, just be, well, you know, what I believe is what's going on is... The world's not going to get better, and here's why. Here's what the Bible says happens in these last days. You know, I actually just had the opportunity to have that conversation with a non-believer this week. And that person really, hmm, you know, turned their head and thought, could that be what's going on? It doesn't have to, you know, you don't have to convince them. But you just plant those seeds and give them something to think about. Give them something to ask God about if they pray or if they try praying, decide to try praying for the first time in their life. But... Lord has all kinds of different things for us to do every day. So don't forsake that. Get really good at asking God questions. So when you'll really hear from him is when you ask him questions and make room for him to answer you. Anyways, um, it's a, it really is an exciting time. We don't need to be afraid of what's coming. The Bible tells us how it all ends, so I'm excited every time I get an opportunity to share something about the Lord and his goodness and just letting people see how good he is and want to get to know him so I just pray that the Lord would bless you and keep you guys and that he would teach you to shine even brighter during these times like the last the last um, days that we're in so in Jesus name I just pray for healing and wholeness and peace in your lives and in your families this week and I'm going to let you see these fireflies for a few more minutes before I stop the video.
darker over here than it is over there. <laughs> That's funny. It's the same yard. And also, just to clarify before I go, I'm not saying that we rejoice in evil or dark things that are happening. We don't at all. And that's why we look forward to Christ's coming and to the new heavens and our new dwelling place for eternity is because we won't have to deal with these things anymore. But when I say about being excited about this time is because we know that in the end the Lord wins. And during these difficulties... The exciting part is being able to let people know that they don't have to go through these dark times alone, that, gosh, so many painful things do happen in this life. God is our counselor and he will help us through everything and he will, he collects our tears in a bottle and he will mend our broken hearts and he will walk through it. We don't have to go into despair and experience these things alone and we don't have to also we don't have to let the tragedies and the traumas and the painful things of our lives consume us um, if we walk through them with the Lord he will hold us the whole way through and he won't let us just fall down into the darkness being disparaged yes mourning happens of course and and we need to mourn and we need to do that but all hope is not lost you have the Lord and that's the exciting part about being able to be the light in the darkness is because nobody can escape the darkness that's on this earth not yet but we have a helper who will help us and light our way and heal our pains as we're making our way to eternity where finally the darkness will be completely eliminated and dealt with all right thanks for watching